Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to work out of my to-do box today. I am not doing eyes closed challenge. What I did was I kind of pulled one piece, like if I had four bases ready, I pulled one of them. So we'll see how much we can get done. My to-do boxes are right at the ready if we want to do more. So uh, let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Carrie, Robin, Tatiana, and Helen. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay. Well, we have we have things. Oh, I forgot to grab a couple of those. Hang on. just kind of wanted to grab these um, clusters that we made because I thought we could use some of those maybe and um, that's a really quick way to do some um, to do some decorating so these are leftover Roxy's weekly challenge I do recall not that long ago these little pockets probably should have Given that a little, I'll do it now. <laughs> um, and this one's this one's fun. I I folded it to the outside instead of inside because it's really cool looking. Let me give that a little so you can see it. So I hope you're all doing well. I thought for a Sunday this would be a nice. Kind of relaxing thing to do and I was I was up for nice and relaxing so um, so yeah this one's fun it's all tattery and stuff so I think maybe on this one a fairly neutral one of these Ooh. Yes, indeedy. I do love that. Do I want anything here? I don't think I do. I like that. I don't think I do. I'm just going to I'm just going to put that on there. Whoops. Going to need to take the cap off. <laughs> details, details. These are fairly sturdy because there's so many layers to them, so I'm not concerned about that. But just like that, we have one piece done. Oh, I just think that's so cute. And then once you put a little something in back of there, that'll be really cute. Okay, one done. Let's see, I've got this basket of this is and that, so maybe I'll put it over here. And do my stack of done ones. This one needs some um, distressing around the edges. It's a bit blah. And do I want to do another one of those? I could. This is the one where you put a piece of ephemera sticking over the pocket. You know, sticking up above it. So, something fairly sturdy is a good thing. Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, what's this one? Oh gosh, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, well these were great on these pockets, let's just say. I have a, got about a gazillion more of these pockets in my to-do box, so... I'd like to move them from the to-do box to the pre-made ephemera. That's what I would like to do. Okay, that's a little crooked. There we go. There we go. And there's another pocket done. Those are kind of quick and easy ways to make a pocket. Okay, now continuing on. Let's look at this. This is one of these. This is, a, again... A Roxy's weekly challenge so um, 
this middle part will open up for journaling space. So I'm going to want to distress the insides of it. And then I'll grab my little sack of medallions. You could use a butterfly to close these up or whatever. But um, I've got the, the Tim Holtz medallions and I do... I do like using those on these, so I think that's what we'll do. Okay, I'm gonna fold this wrong way and give it a little poisonality, little poisonality. Yeah, I just kind of felt like, oh my gosh, my to-do boxes are so big. And, and as I've said to you before, I just, um, just finished the groovy journal and when I've done a big journal project like that I I need a bit of a breather and just to you know make some ephemera try out some ideas I've seen on videos or just whatever just to kind of chill out a little bit um, yeah I think some of this needs a little So that's what I thought I'd do today. Generally, I just put these in a pocket, so it needs a little. There we go. Okay. All right. So now I need my medallions. And I'm going to have to have one of these days. I'm going to have to have myself a little session. You know, I'm going to put this one on since it's so much shorter. I'm going to put it on as a pocket and a tag can go behind there, right? That'd be cute. Instead of just gluing it straight down. Yeah, I've been thinking maybe we'll do that for Mixed Media Monday. I just can I've been kind of having a hankering to get my my big shot out. Can one of these just do it? Ah, kind of too much green. Um, what else do I have? What is this? Got, got some hearts. No, I kind of think, oh my gosh. I kind of think that would be nice because it kind of goes with the outside. Okay, so let's. Okay, so we're going to glue a bit of this side. That right there. Cute. Yeah, and then a pot, um, a tag can go in there. I wonder if I have a tag in my to-dos that would, oh, I do. This one would go well in there. Wouldn't it? Okay. Well, we're going to get this bad boy put completely together, aren't we? And use two pieces out of the to-do box. Woohoo! Such a feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> then you look at the to-do box and it's like, well, it doesn't look like anything's gone. <laughs> Can't let it discourage it. It's a good thing to have a full to-do box. It means you have... Lots more projects ahead of you. Okay, so I'm going to slide that in there. Oh, super cute. Okay, and then what color of medallion do we want here? Do we want a bright pink? Ooh. Let's try the lighter pink if I have one. See which one we like better. Oh, yep, it's got a... Go big or go home, right? Okay, 
I'm just going to go around this and then I'm going to go on top of it and that will knock it back just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, I don't, I have a tickle in my throat today. I don't know what's going on with that. I hope it's not like a cold or something deciding to get me. No thank you to that. Okay, so we've got that little piece ready to go. These are nice in the pockets on the cover, often, is, is where I end up putting these. Okay, there's that one. What about this? What can we do to decorate that? I have all my bits and pieces of leftover ephemera here, just in case, in case we need a little something. Um, where are my, over here? I don't know what I did with my, um, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah ephemera. Let's see it there. It's right here. Hmm. That's interesting. It's not where it's supposed to be. So that's okay. We'll use something else. That's where my brain first went for this, though. No, I don't want to be, I don't want to be too picky, but, oh, I have a thought. How about a cluster? This one would work well. Just got to explore my options a little bit here. bit big. Okay, I think you two little people, I'm going to press you into service here. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, excuse me, I've got the, oh my gosh, got the double-sided tape on my hand and it will not go off of my hand. Okay. Um, Well, I'm quite befuddled by my missing, my missing shabby dabby doo da. I count on that ephemera bag a lot. I end up using it a lot, but who knows? I have to go on the hunt. I'll probably find it in the box and I just didn't see it. Okay, little people, you just go get yourselves right there. Cute. Okay. What do we have? Looking at this, I've got this little, this would be a cute journal card in there. Actually, maybe in the top. Yeah, I'm going to get that. All it needs is some, well, it might need a little. I didn't cut that very well. I was going to say it just needs a little distressing, but it also needed a little tidying up. I mean, bonus, if you get the pocket to the point that it's even got stuff in it, right? Well, that's a bonus. Mm, I'm, I'm baffled. Okay. Let it go, Gail. Let it go. 
Okay, so there's a little journal card for back there. Uh, what else do we have? Here are some smaller cards. Ooh, this might be nice. Yeah. This um, ephemera bag is from my old barn door. Diane. Hi, Diane. I don't know if you watch my videos anymore. But, hello if you do. <laughs> we were kind of... We got to be friends right early in the journey, if you will. Okay, so that's really cute. I, I think I'd like one more thing in there, maybe. Maybe these ice coupons. Yeah. Not only using down the to-do box, but using down ephemera as well. Okay. Okay, there's that little piece. I love it. Okay. Oh, I kind of wanted to do like this is Tim Holtz-ish. We could maybe do a Tim Holtz something, although I'm kind of looking here. What if we put that on there and... No, kind of a longer one like this. Yep. That's what's going on this side. Something else will go down the other side. All right. Cool beans. I had, when I was working and I had the students I hired the students to do the phone calling and I had one little girl who always, she was very enthusiastic and she's always saying, cool beans, cool beans. <laughs> I was like, yes, cool beans for sure. so much glue on that and now it's um, wanting to curl a little bit naturally. Okay, I'm going to use this kind of glue on this. The nice thing about this Tim Holtz fabric is it's really, really neutral. So I think I better put a little bit under there. Okay, this needs a little bit. Okay, I want something else on that. I'm gonna distress, ink and think. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ink and think a little bit. And this attaches to the side of a page and this part here is a little pocket on the opposite side. So we can do something else with that if we want to. Um, kind of thinking about a strip of the homemade washi just down there. Oopsie. 
No, it's straight. Come on, right there. There we go. Yep, I think so. Yeah, this part was kind of just bugging me, so we're just going to kind of plop that like that. Okay, I'm calling that one done as well. All right. What else? What else do we have? I've got this um, tuck. And I just feel like it needs a focal point is all. And maybe a label. So let's think about that. Maybe just... Maybe just a flower. Don't know which flower. Not quite tall enough. I think I might put that up there and then put a label down below. That's what I might do. Let's just need to kind of get this around the edges a bit. I just love decorating ephemera. It's so much fun. And I have to say I like watching other people do it. I think my favorite day of the week for... Well, I like Fridays when I find out what the challenge is, but for Roxy Creations is um, Tuesday when she does what's in my box. Just fun to see things decorated to completion, you know. I'm just going to put this red part up to the top and then down like that. Kinda. Okay, and then speaking of Roxy Creations, I'm thinking one of her labels would be out in order. Don't know if I want blue because there's a lot of blue going on there. I don't think so. I've been, I'm still working on, I reprinted Rachel's labels. And I'm still working on cutting them out. No. I feel like I want something more red than that. It's this one. Might be too big. I don't know. Those are too big. Too big. About this one. That's nice. That'll work. That'll do her. just a little tuck so that would go like on this side of the page like that something tucked in there okie dokie then um what's next let's do one of these so this I saw this idea from Carrie the crafter it's just a eight and a half by eleven piece of paper folded in half and then fold it in thirds and then cut like a tag. And then you just decorate the front. And I think they're, they're so wonderful. I 
This is, I mean, I have this in my idea book, but it's one that I do so often that I don't really forget about it. I love it because it's, you know, it's just a tag to go in a pocket or whatever, but it's really got a lot of journaling real estate happening. So it's great. Okay, so usually I kind of start with a scrap or scrap of book page or something. So let's look at my book pages, see what I've got. Eh, that's not going to work. Um, what do I have? What do I have? Work well. Here's one. That would work pretty good. Eh, I think I'll take a piece of this and just use that. Um, where's my... Okay. Gosh, we have had a sun shiny day here. It's just, it's really gorgeous outside. So, I'm thinking after I do this video, I might just take myself a little walk around the neighborhood. I need to do that more often than I do what needs to happen. <laughs> I think I'll put it right there and tear off the bottom. Okay. Those little scraps can go with something else at some point. I'm so sticky. I've been, well, this is my third video today. <laughs> so I'm a little sticky and the papers want to stick to me. Um, okay. Another nice thing to use on these is a doily. But we just did a doily, so I don't think so. Now I will say one of these would be cute on these as well. But I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over. Let's let's look at the clusters though. Maybe we want a cluster. I don't think I have too many that are longer though. They're kind of short and squatty. Maybe I need one of my um one of my oh, Geometric, geometric ones. Oh my gosh, this one's cute. That could be cute on there. That would be really neutral, wouldn't it? But I like that. That's a possibility. This one, the purple, could be pretty. This one could be pretty. Is that too wide? No. Uh-oh, I'm going to have a decision to make. None of those, none of those. These two would work. Okay, for me it's between this one and that one. I think I'm going to go this one. Oops. Don't really need to get the sticky tape off, I guess. Nope, that covers up too much. How about we leave that out and try and find a piece for that? Let's let's do this one. This was my first. This one. Oh, I really glued it down. That was before I figured out you need to kind of leave them so that they can come off easier. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh boy. Okay. Oof da. I'm gonna put that all the way over there and then I'm gonna maybe put something there. 
Okay, we're gonna make this work. I realize I'm not going super fast on this, but I really did just want to kind of relax and and do some creating. So if we don't get 140 pieces done today, I'm not worrying about it. Okay, I'm going all the way to this side like that. Okay, and then I think I want, I think I might want a Timmy person, probably a small one. Yeah, those are all too big. Those are my little people. I'll start them. I remember my little people have a lot of people attached to them. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like the medium people might be the way to go. Medium size. Yeah, all my little Tim Holtz people, I organized them by medium, small, and such. I am going to put those little girls right there, I think. Yep, right there. Okay. Decision made. Okay. Do you like to give them a little, a little something here? Somebody said to me one time in the comments, Oh, you, you got that little girl all messy. She's going to get in trouble because she's been playing in the dirt. <laughs> it's like, well, you know. Okay, so I kind of want her little foot right there. I feel like I need just a little label right there. Um, do I have anything in here? No, I don't. I think I just want. I think I want a plain one. I think. No. No, maybe I don't want anything there. Okay, so there's that little one, and it's flat, so it'll be easy enough to write. Okay, so let's see if we can find something that this will go on. I've got a whack and stack tag here. Hmm, that's not bad, is it? Kind of right there. I actually really like that. Okay. That was easy. Okay. Just kind of, kind of right there. Now, sometimes I find that I need to Kind of glue down some of the bits too because if you're going in and out of a pocket these could each easily catch you know maybe I'll put a little extra glue right there okay I like that but I think it needs one of these punches it's a very tall tag Okay, and then I'm just going to go around the edges of that. Oh, I'll do this side too. And we have a tag done. Let's see, what else do we have? 
in here. This one probably just needs a label, is what I think. Um, I might have a fun, more neutral label in my yeah, junk journal studio in these. You know, something like, something like that. Or do I want, hmm, I think I like that. But then I want something there too, and I don't want, do I want two labels? I don't know. Um... Kind of covers up all the paper. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put a flower or something there. That book is getting heavy and it's there's more to put in it. I've got all kinds of rose stuff um, from her all things roses kit. So let's do that. That's good. And then speaking of that, let me grab those for a second. And there's some smaller roses and stuff in here. Like this. These birds make it really awkward, I feel like. I don't want them on the same level. That's okay, but then this is real empty, but I don't want it down there, really. Hmm. What about one of these? There. That's the best I'm going to do, I think. Okay. <sighs> In a little vase. Then I've got something down low, something up high. I think that will work better. Okay. Okay, there we go, a journal card. Um, how are we doing time-wise, I better check. Oh, we got about 20 minutes. Oh, I pulled out one of these. Do I have something big? I do, in the roses. We can decide which one of these, probably that one, I'm thinking. I think I might go kind of down in the corner so a bit of the um, a bit of the writing shows. Okay. I have more of these in my to-do box also. <laughs> I like how this is with the doily there. Okay, get a new glue page. I got my glue sticks out and close to me, so if this one decides to give up the ghost, we'll still have something we can use. Okay, I wanted this kind of down in the corner. Ish.
Do we want like a vertical word there? I don't know. Maybe a pink one. I think I kind of like it up over the edge a little bit. Well, we're getting through our pile. I don't think we're going to quite get it all done, but you know, there'll be another time when we can. Okay. And that's just little extra journaling space there. Alrighty then. What else do we have? We have, have this. Supposed to go this way. And that's going to go over the page, right? I think so. No idea what I'm going to do with this, but I'm jumping in anyway. This is all gonna go on my lap, you know it is. Okay. So we need something here. Then we'll need to do a pocket on the other side. But that's really cute. Pretty paper. I don't think I'm going to put a hole in that because that might give us more options of things we can we can put there. Um, this could be, could be nice with one of these labels. Except there's got to be one that's not too, too wide. This one might work. I really like this one too. Oh, it's just a little too big and it's too yellow. Okay, so never mind on that one. That's cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Are you okay? So if I wanted to use this in a floral journal or something like that, I can always put like a little flower on it, a butterfly, something. But I'm glad we didn't make a thumb hole because that wouldn't have fit very well. Okay, so then on this side, would we like there looking in my little basket oh stuff I think I need something a little more jazzy than that all of all of these go up and down so that's not gonna work um, Just looking at all of my options in terms of the ephemera that I pulled out. It's big. This one might be too small, but I'm not sure. They're all blank, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, what's having this one? If anything, that could go on there. Oh, we've got some kind of cabinet cardy looking people. She 
She's cute. The rest of them are kind of scary. That's cute. And what do we have that... I want something behind it. I'm going to have to look in my... This again. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put these on and then I think I want a little butterfly or something. Happen to have some of those. If I can get to them. Got a few things here and there in this in this room right now. <laughs> I pulled out a TV tray to put all my put my to-do box on in case I needed more to-dos. Okay, and this. Okay, don't want that to stick. I find a spot where I haven't glued yet. Okay, so you're going to go here, and let's see, what are those? Right here. I'm going to use one of Lorette's cool butterflies from um, Journal Supply and Design on Etsy. Yes. Okay, that's gonna just go right there to kinda, kinda bring it together. And then that's gonna go over a page. That'll be, I'll glue here and here be an uptuck. This will be a pocket. I need to glue that down. I don't know that I'm gonna put anything over the back there. I think I'm going to leave it because it will have, you know, it'll have a tag in it. Like, you know, it'll have a, it'll have a tag there. Not that tall of a tag, but a tag. Okay. So that was done. How are we doing? Better check. Oh, we've got 15 minutes. I I'm having so much fun. I keep thinking that the time has passed already, but... Yeah, I'm going to call that one done. Okay, what else do we have here? Don't want to do that. I think this is more than 20 minutes, so I'm not going to do that. And I don't have my papers out, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> let's, do, let's find something for this. And then... Oh, I bet you one of the clusters would work on this, right? Maybe if there's one that's not too wide. Let's see. This one's got blue lace. That's pretty cute. I do think I want to just um, do a little inking on it, though. Or do I like that one? I do like that one. I like these on everything, so it's hard to decide. Yeah, I think all the stuff I have left in my pile would take too long, so we'll just save those for another day. I think what I might do is go ahead and try and find tags or things that these will go on out of my to-do box. Cute, cute, cute. I'm going to use 
if I can get it. I'm gonna use this and put a little slot in it so that we can put a little ribbon on that. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's look in here what we have. Okay, I have a, this whole stack of these that maybe, maybe. Got one of the green ones. I was wondering. Ooh, I like that on there. Okay, cool. Ah, yeah, I've kind of had these sitting on my desk and I'm like, you know, you need to figure out what you're going to do with those because it's not like they've super been in my way, but a little bit. Okay. And I was in need of tags because my tags were getting real low in my pre-made ephemera. So let's see. that okay that one's done um this one i've got this one sitting way over here no Ooh, maybe this one if i put it over here to the side a little bit yeah that's kind of cool i think i want a little And they're good on journal cards too, so I might have to think about that as well. Okay, this one's going to have the little punch. I wait till I'm putting them in a journal to decide if I want uh, if I want to put anything through the slot. Uh, let's see. Journal cards. Let's see. I've got lots of journal cards too that these would go on. Mm. Okay. I'm not super tickled about it. Might be nice. I kind of like that in between this and this. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. I don't think I need to do the edges. I don't know why sometimes I feel like it needs to be edged and sometimes not. I wish I could tell you. It's just... And if I'm a looking at it and I'm thinking <laughs> it does or doesn't need something. Okay. Get through a few more of these clusters anyway would be nice. Um, this one with the, the dark color. Ooh, let's her put her here. Yep. This one sort of says more fallish to me, but because of the dark lace, I think. I had done a whole bunch of collaging with some fallish papers, so yep, there's that one. Okay, and what else do we have? Pick one of these. Nope. Nope. That 
needs more like just a label across it or something. How about the, how about the whack and stack ones? Do we have something that would go with that? This one's very dark. Nope. Maybe this way. There we go. That's nice. There, this one did have piano paper in it. I ended up not putting piano paper on the ones I made the other day because um, I only had really light colored piano paper. I like them just as well without the piano paper though, I will say. Oh, here's a couple of pockets. Um, but I'm gonna need a short one. Ooh nice okay does make for a quick decoration I mean you have the time into making the clusters but once you actually go to use it on a piece oh I love that that's that's a good one Let's see if we can do another one like that I've got this shorter one there or oh I think I like it there holy moly I'm gonna have a lot of ephemera made I'm so happy there's a whole stack over there I have to leave a little time to show you everything I'll just have to quick like flip through them won't I yep I guess we better quit okay so Still have a few of those. I'll put those in my box, I think. All of these going back in the to-do box. Better put my lid on my glue. Just gonna make room here so I can show you guys what we did. All right. So, we got this whole big old pile of ephemera done. I'm so excited. So there's these two pockets. Love those. Um, journal card. Journal card. Really love that one too. I like them all. I just, some of them I just go, oh, I love that. A couple of tags. All that with the, um, the clusters that we made. There's this over the page piece with pocket on this side. Yep, love that. This tag with a geometric cluster. This little piece that will be extra journaling space. This journal card that was giving me fits. <laughs> this one with the cute little Tim Holtz people side tuck or yeah little tuck there this goes around a page love that this little pocket this big piece that opens up and there's writing space on the inside and then we did two of these pockets so what do we do all together two four six eight ten 12, 14, 16, 18. I think it might be a new world record. <laughs> Thanks for crafting with me today, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.